Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll be doing a review of the Lego Ninjago set 71781 Lloyd's Mech Battle Evo. Comes with Golden Lloyd and a Bone Warrior. This is the box. As you can see, the box, I did get the set at a good price, as you can see by the state of the box. These, uh, but before we go any further, I would like to thank um, Kara Yelmaz uh, for subscribing and Dan Hodgscud. Thank you very much for, for subscribing to my channel. And I would like to thank the, 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 there's a couple of people who also commented, Eric who's commented this week, and a couple of other people who commented the last two weeks when I've been off. Thank you very much for your kind comments and, the, and, and supporting the channel. Very much appreciated. But uh, before we start the review of the build, um, I would like to show you the instruction manual. The instruction manual is actually that you don't get Lloyd walking through, but you do actually get some nice little bit of artwork in it. So you've got Lloyd going down in his golden mech. As the mech gets built, You get Lloyd all ready to go. As you can see, the sword works really well. And then you get the Bone Warriors mech. That is quite nice. I mean, when I saw this set, I wasn't, I didn't go, oh, oh I've been looking for that set for a while. It's more a case of, I thought, that looks all right, I'll buy that. One of those little impulse buys, you can see, they're both having a bit of a bit of a go at each other there. And now he's got his golden armour on. There's a picture of Lloyd really, um, really kicking some rump there. So, we'll, but we'll do a quick review. As you can see, this is the Lloyd mech. Um, this is a bit with all the golden armor on and stuff like that. Um, it does. It's it is quite a good. It's a reasonably good solid mech. It's po it does have posability with a bit of artistic life as long as you sort of um, prepare to move stuff around and be creative. You won't get every sort of fancy Chuck Norris martial arts pose you possibly want, but I think it's a case of working out what you can get away with. So if you do that, it will do that, which it does look quite good like that. As you can see, it's got a big, a big weapon there. It's got a big weapon there. The golden armor does really does really does it justice. I tell you, it really does. Gold plastic is probably not the greatest. It's probably made a lot better than it used to be. This is the gold, the gold, the gold Lloyd figure. It's this is a nice figure actually. Really well designed and. He's got two faces. He's got a um, slightly slightly irked face and a happy face. But he comes with a couple of um, gold samurai swords as well, which or katanas. Uh, I think I think these are katanas rather than samurai swords. But I think these are katanas. But they are they are quite nice swords. The problem I do have with this set is they could have put. Um, some sort of connection point on there. You know, some sort of connection point on there um, for the swords, but it's not an end. It's not. I wouldn't call it an end of the world issue. So, as you can see, but as you can see, once he goes in his mech, he can't. You can't really close the mech up. It's a bit of a struggle to close the mech up with, with, with him holding in the swords, which is a little bit of a disappointment, but... But you can put the swords in there, but they, they will fall out. So, if you didn't have all the armour on, it, it would probably be, you could probably put the swords up there, but I think... I think if you just got some gold connector pieces here, 
as you can see, the um, as you can see that sword, that bit there, this this um, big sword here is quite brittle in the hat. It will come off in the hands because it's got a very small connector point on it, which is a little bit on the annoying side. But as you can see, it does. It is. It is actually quite a nice little. It is quite a nice little figure, really. Um, it's it's very basic. If you look at it from the back, you can see how basic it is. It's just a T piece on for the body. Uh, it's got a, it's got a proper um, front chest plate and some armor. It's got the um, the non-moving um, uh, arm and leg joints, which it, it does work quite well for the build. And um, if you don't want the and it does keep Lego keep the costs down. And on this mold, it works really well. It's got some really nice designs. You can see the plates they put on there. The one they got on the front here. The feet look good. The gold, the gold looks good on this set. And he's got his um, flag of honor on there. So overall, the um, the Lloyd Met Golden Lloyd Met does look good. I'll put it over there. Now we have these. Skeleton Warrior Mech, which is which is which is quite good. I do quite like it. There's another bit I've got to put on here, which I neglected. It's like a lightsaber piece which goes in the middle. So it's got a bit Darth Maul vibes about it as well. And speaking of Darth Maul, there's a bit more Darth Maul vibes to come on this one. As you see, you've got Skeleton Warrior with his um, double-sided weapon here got his like weapons on the back here as well as you see it's, it's another basic it's another basic mech build it's not quite as um, solid as the um, um, mech builds for the um, Marvel figures but then again you are getting you getting two you get you are getting two mechs in a set so so you can't really you can't really complain about that as you can see you can put the other weapon in the other hand and you can do a have a, have a two-handed attack there, which is quite good. The, the, the hat can be dub, doubles up as a shield on there as well, which is, that's, there's some nice little touches on there. You've got the skeleton, the, the rock, the bone warrior. There's a nice little plate on there, that bit comes down, it's it is a boat. It is a skeleton bone warrior, so you're not really expecting too much on the design on the on the design front of the mech. But the figure itself is really, really nice. Been really well designed, and they've done, really done the arms well, the face, the nice little shoulder pad on there gives it a touch of evil to him. He also comes with a a couple of these. Um, Skeleton throwing stars like this, which which are which are a very nice little touch. But the problem is once he's once he's in the mech, there's there's absolutely nowhere for them to go. So these are these are more stuff you have to try and find. You have to try and find space for, which is a little bit um, on the annoying side. But then again, um, if I was a kid, I'd probably not be losing the pieces. But He's also got the Darth Maul horns as well, which is quite good. As you can see, he's got the Darth Maul horns in his head as well. So it's got definitely got Star Wars. Like I say, it's got Star Wars vibes about it. And it is slightly smaller than the um, um, Lloyd Mech as well, but they are both very good mechs in their own rights. You know, um, they could have sold they could have sold them separately about about the um, nine pound mark like they normally do. But, and they, they probably would have put, stuck this up around £13 because it's got all the extra bits on it. But this one they could, they could have done around a £9 mark. But having, having two mechs in a set is really, is really, really quite nice. Lego have done a good job here. And for play value and sort of like entertainment value for building it as well, it does, it, it does seem, it does really work quite well. They have done quite well with this Ninjago set. and. I've never watched the cartoon, but the builds are quite good, and, and you've got the hat, the hat becoming the shield as well. They've got lots of nice little gimmicks on it, and this one has levels of flexibility as well. Not sure how far you can get, 
how far you can go. But as you see, it's got flexibility for doing the old um, fighting. If you're gonna go for a chest kick like that, you can do it. It works, it's good. Not, not unless you nudge it, like if, if, if you blatantly nudge it, it's gonna fall, but that's because it's Lego and it's a toy and it's not, gonna, not really designed to. If you did that, with it, did that with most action figures these days, you'd probably have exactly the same problem. So, unless you put them on a stand, or unless you put them on a stand or something, you could have them going for a kick and going, doing the Chuck Norris roundhouse, like Staley, like that, ooh, like that. But, but his armor will repel that. But as you can see, they got the posability going quite well here. You can get quite a lot of posability, action poses going, so which which really does add to the play value of the toy. The arms, the arms don't have any movement, but that's again, as I as I've said before, at the price point, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, this set should be around. It has been a while, around a while. If you haven't got hold of this set, yet, I would recommend getting hold of it because just for the bricks and the um, just for the bricks and the fact you get a couple of really nice mechs out of it. You could probably convert that into a Lego crossbones mech or something like that, and it's got the right colours, it's pretty much there. The gold on here, you could probably do a bit of, um, give it a bit of a gold Iron Man vibe, or find another, um, or just find another, um, another like, um, Marvel character who's gold. There's a few, of, there's a few out there, but there's, they're not really like, um, as mainstream, but you, you, you probably could build a nice mech for it. So as you can see, they are these are really nice figures and they work really, really well. So overall, I can't complain about this. This, this is a good build. I paid the price for it, no complaints whatsoever. Hope you liked this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments or feedback on this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video. I'll try to give a mention on an upcoming video. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, and Threads, and currently um, jump currently on TikTok as well um, under a um, under a uh, under a different name under, under the name Toy Man Stew at the moment as well. So um, again, I like, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, stay safe. Right, okay, stay safe. Keep building. If you like Ninjago, keep watching it, and hope to see you in an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.